With Half-Life Alex releasing on PC VR in the very near future, I wanted to release a to the point and updated video on how you can play Steam VR games on your Oculus Quest from your PC. Plus, I've been getting some requests to combine everything on how to do it, as previously you had to bounce back and forth between a couple of different videos. There are two different ways to play Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest, and both do require a gaming PC. Unfortunately, if you don't have access to a gaming PC, then neither of these will work for you. I will put timestamps down in the description if you're looking for something specific. I'm going to go ahead and assume that since you're watching this video that you already have Steam and Steam VR installed, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. First, let's talk about the easiest way to go about it, and that is to use Oculus Link. Oculus Link is a new function that is currently in beta for the Oculus Quest. It allows the Quest to connect to a VR-capable PC using a supported USB-C cable. The official Link cable just recently released, but there are also other cables that'll work as well. I'll add those links to the cables I have tested as well as some videos that go over them in the description. Using Oculus Link for Steam VR is incredibly easy. First off, you have to make sure you have a compatible cable and that your Quest is updated to the most recent firmware. The Link ability was released in version 12. Next, download the Oculus Rift PC application from the Oculus website and go through the installation process. Once the software is installed, launch the Oculus PC application and then go to the Devices tab. Click on the Add Headset button, then select the Quest and hit Continue. Next, make sure that your Quest is powered on and connect the Quest to your PC using a compatible cable. You should see a green check mark pop up if everything went right. If not, then try checking your connection and make sure that you're plugged into a USB 3 port on your PC and that the cable you're using is a compatible cable. Finally, hit continue and that's it for the setup. Link gets you connected to the Rift platform on your PC, so in order to run games on SteamVR, select the Virtual Desktop button on the bar at the bottom. Then navigate to your SteamVR shortcut and double click on it to launch Steam VR. This should launch you right into the Steam VR home and you are ready to go. One thing that'll make this easier is after launching Steam VR that way the first time, as long as you have unknown sources enabled in the Oculus PC software, Steam VR will show up in your Oculus library so you can launch it from there. Actually, VR games that are launched from Steam VR will also show up in your Oculus library, like how Doctor Who is showing up here in mine, even though I have it on Steam VR. So that's the simplest way to go about playing Steam VR games on the Quest, but there is another way that takes a few extra steps but will allow you to play wirelessly and that is to use virtual desktop. The first thing you're going to have to do is purchase the virtual desktop software in the Quest Store and then download it. Because Oculus didn't want the ability to play VR games through virtual desktop, there are a few extra steps you're going to have to take to get it working. You're also going to need a high-speed Wi-Fi connection of 5 GHz for this to function reliably. It also works best if your PC is directly connected to your router. Next, you're going to have to sideload the patched APK from SideQuest, and I'm going to walk you through all of the steps right now. The first thing you need to do is head to the link in the description to create an Oculus developer account. You'll need to log into your Oculus account and then click Create New Organization. Enter the name you want to use. It can be anything as long as it isn't taken already. Check I understand and hit Submit. Next, we need to enable developer mode on your Quest. Make sure your Quest is powered on and connected to the same Wi-Fi as your phone and then navigate into the Oculus app. Tap on the Settings tab and then tap on your Quest headset to connect. Once you see the green dot and it says connected, tap more settings, then tap developer mode and flip the switch to on. When it's on, you can see the blue on the switch. The next step is downloading and installing the ADB drivers so that your Quest can communicate with the PC. Head to the link in the description, check the box and hit download. Once the download is done, unzip the zip file and navigate until you find the file android underscore winusb.inf. Right click on this file and click install. A pop-up should come up saying that it was completed successfully. Now it's time to connect your Quest to your PC. You're going to need a USB-C to USB-A cable. There is a link in the description to a cheap cable from Amazon that'll work if you need one or try checking your cell phone charging cable. Plug one end into the USB port on your PC and the other end to your Quest, then place the Quest on your head and you should see a pop-up that says allow USB debugging. Check the box that says always allow for this PC and then hit OK. Almost done, the next step is to download the software SideQuest using the link in the description. Install the software and open it up. Click on the Games and Apps tab and then scroll down and click on Streaming. Click on Virtual Desktop and then click Install Latest. Once this software is installed, there's one last step on the PC. Head over to vrdesktop.net and download the Virtual Desktop Streamer app. Install the Streamer app and then once it's open, make sure to enter your Oculus username and hit Save. 
That's it on the PC side, now it's time to put on your Quest. Once inside of your Quest, navigate to the virtual desktop application. Wait for your PC to show up on the list and then click on it if it doesn't load you in automatically. Then navigate to where you have SteamVR and double click on it to launch. There you go, now you are all set to wirelessly stream SteamVR to your Quest. You can launch directly into SteamVR from the virtual desktop menu as well by clicking on the Steam VR button. So those are the two best methods in my opinion for using SteamVR on the Quest, both wired and wireless. Which method do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. If you run into any problems, please let me know down in the comments as well, and I will do my best to help you out. If you want to get the most out of your quest, then don't forget to hit that little red button down there that says subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks so much for watching, and happy questing.